looks like mommy is particularly hungry today. Goodbye, Paul. Tell mother to go to Alrighty, hello everyone. I'm Ethan Alley and welcome to Zucosis, a game about rescuing sick animals in a zoo. I do hope you all enjoy, but without any further ado, let us get into this game now, shall we? Before we begin, I want you to put down your scribble. Oh, my scribble? My signature? What, what is this for non declosure we came for? You know, I don't think I need a, I, I don't think I need a lawyer for this one. I think I could just sign it. Paul Conley. I'm pretty sure that's just Conley. You made the right move. Just a couple more things and you'll pull your family out of poverty. I really hope so. As a zookeeper? Our scientists require us to do this to see everything that happens in the enclosures. Scientists? I thought this was a zoo. sound looking ass. True. Never thought that the smart Alex belong right in the zoo. <laughs> hope you got the joke. Excellent. Now let's get started. First, grab your personal PDA. It's necessary for interacting with all the work objects. Congratulations. Oh, this is cool. The first step to becoming a part of our close-knit zoo family. Wait, what? Whoa! You'll find out later. What do you jack me with, bro? No. No, I ain't going to be made into Kentucky fried chicken, Dr. Sanders. How dare you? I'm oh, not your secret ingredient. Good, get up. It's time to get to work. What the hell? What did you do to me? I took care of your health. Working with animals requires prevention. You wouldn't want to bring some kind of infection home, would you? By the way, I took your phone as well. I'll return it in the morning after the shift. So I got the job? I thought we had an interview. My wife is waiting for me outside. The job will be yours if you make it through the night. Let's go. I still have a lot to show you. Okay. Oh, what's that? I can't, I can't use that. Is this like home base? Where, where am I? Oh, you got a damn train? You know, I already love this game. You got trains in this game? Why do you have a full on train? A trolley. Yep. This is our hub. You'll have plenty of everything here, except time. Now we're in the cold room. Here we store herbs, vegetables, and fish while the meat gets ground into portions for the animal rations. And right now we're running low on herbs and vegetables. Got the hint? Get to it. You can find the instructions in your PDA. Oh, really? Uh, load two herbals and one vegetable brick into the brick trolley. Oh, do I put them here? Ah, how many do I need? I need two herbals. Two herbals. Let's make it organized. Let's put one on each side. Most of the there we go. As a reserve. And take these ones with you. It's time to show you our workhorse. Okay. I feel like something like this should be automatic. What the hell was that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something in the works that you're not ready to know about yet. Let's start with the basics. That sounded like cannon fire. What? What? Okay. This is the refrigeration compartment. You need to load the brick trolley here. Until you load it here, Katie won't budge. To load the brick trolley, you need to activate the lever. The lever. The special lever. Oh, that's kind of cool. I like that. Start the train. How do I start the train? There's a keyboard? <laughs> is there a keyboard to start a damn train? Where are we going? To the giraffe? To the giraffe? We have different sections. Why are you smiling like that, Mr. Kentucky Fried Chicken? This ain't fun. I don't even know what I'm in for. We're here? So we're at the giraffe station. Okay. Carefully, I oh my goodness, frames. Try. This is our mobile veterinary station. Here you'll be mixing medications for our animals. Are they sick? Well, they can be. We need to closely monitor the health of the animals. We have some quite rare specimens, so the thought of anything happening to them is out of the question. Take this seriously, and we should all be safe for another day. Follow me. Okay. This is our kitchen factory. To collect feces for tests, you have to feed the animal its favorite food. 
Here's where you'll prepare it. Choose the recipe from the list. Cut, mix, and you're done. Any questions? Yes. Excellent. The <laughs> zoo needs those who aren't afraid to ask. But even more so, it needs those who find answers themselves. All right, enough chit-chat. Go to the cutting table. I, I'm here at the cutting table. What's on the device? What does it say? It says prepare fruit for giraffe. Do I have to do this manually? Giraffe from the list. Oh, thank goodness. I don't have to make it manually. Oh. Click on the cut to slice don't cut. Don't make a mistake with the weight. The exact measurement is displayed on the weight indicator. Measure carefully. So this is like about half. This is about more. Like right here. Excellent. Uh, I don't know if I did that right. It's kind of what? Oh, oh, it's kind of like get half. It's kind of like those challenges, like get perfectly half. Um, oh, that's perfectly right in the middle, bro. Like right there. That was perfect, baby. I accept. Food is ready. Oh yeah, you put it in the trolley. Oh, this lever. Ah. Okay. That's so cool. So simple, but so cool. Oh my goodness. Bring the trolley to the entrance and close her. Sure thing. Oh, I have to do this backwards? Oh, I don't like that. What's that big thing right where I cross from the food? What the hell is that thing? So he doesn't own the place or anything? To open the door, you need to insert your PDA into the enclosure terminal and select open enclosure. We have to insert my PDA in here, whatever that I, I believe that's what it's called. Welcome to the graft enclosure. Before leaving, make sure that all the symptoms dete are detected. I have to make sure all these are oh and all of them? Okay. I understand. All right. Oh, hi. 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 Where's the feeding area at? Is this the feeding area over here? I assume they would put it in front of the gate. Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh, that's some nice slop right there. I hope you like it, guys. Um, Return the bucket to the gadget. Oh, okay, okay. We're leaving. We're going. We're letting them eat their food in peace. Hi, right, Mr. Kentucky Fried Chicken, I'm bad. Great. Now put on the MFE. What's what, this that? thing? Mobile fecal extractor. In simpler terms, a shit sucker. You've eaten shit before. <laughs> now you're going to suck it. I don't know. Why do we need all this? We need to constantly monitor the health of the animals. And taking excrement for tests is one of your key tasks. A hundred thousand a year, Paul. A hundred thousand fucking American dollars. You just have to collect the shit. Come on, Paul. Don't chicken out. Fine, I'll go collect his shit. I'll go collect the giraffe shit. Ah, oh, I see the animal feces on the ground. How do I collect the feces? Oh! That's, that's some PC collector right there. Can I take it straight from the source? No? Okay. Ugh. Ugh. Hello. I'm back. Now take the TIS. To avoid unnecessary questions, it's a thermal imaging system. You could just call it a thermal imager. It's needed to determine the body temperature for our animals. Okay, that doesn't seem too bad. Where's that at? Is that here too? Good. Oh, it is now here too. And measure the temperature of the giraffes. Okay, easy enough. Why is this guy standing all menacingly? That's good. 
I gotta go measure you guys over here that are sleeping. Oh, aren't you adorable? Why are you super hot? Poe and Cleo. Damn, that's a little bit hot for that man. But I assume he's sleeping in a comfy area, so... I won't doubt it. for normalizing the temperature of animals. By the way, it was developed by one of the local eggheads. Interact with the terminal and press the exit and closure button. Oh, so I did everything? But I have to come back. Oh, I only did one of them. Okay. I guess I exit the enclosure. Make some medications too. Well, you studied chemical technology in Indiana. You'll manage. Damn, how do you know all this? Trust me, it's not something worth being surprised about here. But I barely lasted six months there. Got kicked out of the first year. No worries. That should be enough to mix a couple of ingredients following a ready-made formula. <laughs> Mr. Kentucky Fry knows too much. He needs to go. <laughs> he needs to go. Congratulations, Paul. You've just come closer to success and the well-being of your family. Now, go and load the collected fecal matter into the biomaterial receiver. Don't carry anything into the car. Everything must be sterile. And don't forget to put the shit sucker back in its place. Oh, the shit sucker has a place? Oh. <laughs> Ugh. I assume the right side is just the tapeworm. That's what I'm looking at. Okay. Let's bring, um, let's um, make some medicine. Right? We making medicine. What the hell? So jumpy. Now you need to load the trolley into the train. To do this, press the lever inside the car. I, I already knew that, but you're taking too long. Okay, I understand. Perfect. Now take the dart from the dart dispenser. Cool, you've got ten. Oh, cool. Now load it into the veterinary gun. It's in the gadget trolley. I, is it really? Um. Now the only thing left oh. is to dart the sick giraffe. Oh. Oh. So I go marching in like a like an Englishman. Which one's Poe? Oh, you're Poe. Poe. You're about to lose an eye today, Poe. Okay. You have cured all the animals. Yes, I did. I've done a good job. Let's go back to Mr. Kentucky Fried Chicken. What the hell was that? I I I honestly don't know. Okay, hello, Mr. Kentucky Fried Chicken. We're back. So everything went smoothly? Seems yep. Like it. I did this for the first time. Hopefully, he'll get better soon. Well, don't doubt that. We need to get back to the hub. Okay. Let's go back to the hub. When do I lose the training wheels? When do I do things myself? When do I really gotta. Oh, why are you smiling like that? No, no, no. No. He's retiring. He's not. He's just not telling me. He's found his replacement. What makes it even weirder is that his. It's time to leave you alone. Is that his smiles like fade? Like it's slipping. Like he's smiling because he knows I'm screwed. <laughs> I don't understand. I feel like he gets paid more than me. Where did my man's go? Over here. How you doing? Every zookeeper is entitled to a service car. This one's mine. If you perform oh, oh, well tonight, oh. you'll get one in the morning. Y Is that your wife? Should I tell her you're staying here for the night? Keep in mind, I'll lock you in until morning. No problem. I think she'll figure it out and go home soon. As you wish. Good what? Luck, Don't mess up. You should have just... She's standing out there in the rain! This man's gonna be stealing your girl in that damn Lamborghini! Complete the tutorial. Oh, this man's... Oh. Oh, I want it. Oh, he's out. You know, time to go snooping. Snooping dooping. Where is everything? Who's trying to open the door? Paul, you entered here who knows how long ago. You're not answering calls. I'm worried. Oh, okay. Lily, sweetheart. Sorry. Didn't hear you right away. Everything's okay. 
They put me on probation, but I had to start immediately. You should just go home. I'll be back in the morning and tell you everything. Paul, but I saw them lock you up. It's not normal. Yeah, it's just protocol here. They took away my phone and made me sign an NDA. And all I have to do is feed and treat the animals. Oh, uh, and by the way, uh, there's plenty of meat here. I want my girls to finally eat normal food. I'll be right back. Don't go away. What? There's meat here? Why do you want it? No, why are you giving them the parcel of meat? No! No! Oh, I don't like the idea of giving them meat. I feel like this meat's tainted somehow. Well, is it for me to judge? I don't think so, so let's just give it to them. Go for the best. Am I right? Lily, are you here? Yeah. Take this. Give Gina a kiss from Daddy. It's time for me to work. Okay, to the next enclosure. To Womba Buddy. Oh, uh, looks like we're here at the next enclosure. All right, let's um put the gadget trolley on the rails. Is there anything else I need to be worried about? I don't think so. I think... Oh, nope. Oh. Wait, that's right. I need to make the food. How do I know the food? Oh, that's right. It's animal-based. So I go here. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all right. Uh, animal may refuse to eat. Remove food. You really want to remove the food from the bucket? No. It's 26%. It should be fine. It should be fine. I assume they're not too stingy. I'm getting them extra proteins. You know? I'm gonna grow up nice and strong if I do this. Alright, let's go. Oh, so it'll be a very good poop today. A very good poop. Oh, who's calling? Yeah. Who's calling, actually? Wait, what? Hello? How you doing? Mr. Zookeeper. Weird man? Oh, thank God. Finally. Uh, please don't hang up. I've been trying to reach my husband all day. Uh, he's a scientist. Clarence J. Summers. People usually call him CJ. I'm sorry, man. I'm here alone. Please check for me. He should be in the lab. Uh, is there a lab here? Oh, I understand. You're new. Then, one last request. Look in his locker in the break room. Code 1768. Ma'am, this doesn't feel right. I don't care. Paul, I'm begging you. CJ needs to take his medication regularly. I just want to make sure he has them with him. Just open the locker. That's all. I'll call back. Okay. Alright, let's go see um the animals. Let's go make sure they're okay. I assume they wouldn't be violent this early on. Oh, we got four? Oh, that's great. Oh. Well, I got you your food, okay? Uh, where's your feeding things at? Oh, I see them. I'll make sure you're all nice and fed. They're eating, so that's good. Um... Next one is the poop gun. Poop gun is next. I have to wait a little bit longer to use the poop gun. Penny? You gonna shit for me? Okay, thank you, Penny. Are you... You... I don't think he's okay. This shit came out his mouth. Can I pet them? I can pet them. Pet an animal for the first time. Oh my goodness. It's gonna get me killed one day. It's gonna get me killed one day. Looks like you're all good, guys. Oh, this one's sleeping? Oh, what a little baby. Oh, that, that one's hot. Really hot, actually. Okay. Okay, we need to make some medicine for our boy. Some temporal axe. Only need one of those. And I see there's a lethal ejection. And I can use it now, you say? Uh, well, no, I'm not going to do that yet. These animals are too kind. Okay, who needs the shot? Who needs the shot? I'm not going to hold it out against you, but who... Okay, I'm going to collect your poop. Fair trade, fair trade, fair trade. I just collect the poop, you get the shot. Fair trade, fair trade, fair trade. Fair trade, fair trade, fair trade, fair trade. Fair trade. Fair trade. I hit you, right? Hmm, maybe it's a different one. Ah. Uh, it's beyond my expertise. You know, what if I take his blood? You think he'll let me take his blood? 
I think I gotta take Wally's blood. Yeah, give me a moment. I'm gonna have to take Wally's blood. Wally. Penny. Penny. Don't run. Don't run. Let me take some blood, Penny. Let me take some blood. Wally, I need to take a shot from you, sir. You look beaten, bro. Yeah. You got some bruises, bro. Okay. Now the question is, how do I do the sound thing? Why does he have a frequency? Why does... Will he have a frequency? Why did they all have a frequency? Maybe they have like a chip inside them. Maybe we're checking if they still have a chip. Yeah, I think I did everything. I think I could leave. The chip, the, the noise thing don't make sense yet. But I'm pretty sure it's just like a chip that I'm trying to root out, I believe. Now we need to heal the animal. Does it tell me what's wrong with them here? Will I know? Diagnosed. Wille. Oh! It does tell me. It's a species of bacteria that infects white blood cells and is transmitted by ticks. Okay. Now how do I cure it? I'm pretty sure it's gonna be this one. Yeah, it's gonna be this one. I'm gonna assume it's gonna be this one. I won't doubt myself. I'm pretty sure that's the medicine. I, I did the wrong thing. Wow, I'm dumb. Give me the actual medicine. Who was it that I needed to inject? Wally. Wally, sir. Wally. Where are you, Wally? Wally, you gotta stop moving. Either take a nap or something, Wally. Wally. Gotcha. Okay, now we get the hell out of here. Oh, someone called? Night zookeeper, Paul Connolly. I'm sorry, ma'am. I haven't had a chance to look around yet. What's with the ma'am? Oh, nothing. A woman called. Looking for someone named CJ. Searching for her husband. That bitch again. Although CJ is no saint either. Always hanging around some girls lying to his wife that he's in the lab. And we don't even have labs here. Anyway, forget it. Why am I calling you? There'll be a food delivery soon, and you need to grind some fresh meat. Got it? Yes, sir. Excellent. I'll call you later. Okay. Return to the hub and activate the supply lever. Oh, what happened? Okay, apparently I'm sick from all the feces, bro. Okay, I'm here for a food delivery, right? That's what's going on? I'm waiting for a food delivery. What is going on? Check the enclosure. Feed the animals. Close. Return the hub and activate the supply lever. Can I go through this door? No. Oh. There's his locker. CJ floppy disk? Ooh. What about this? Is he alive? CJ Summers Experiment 23. Testing experimental meds on mutated specimens. They don't work during the frustration phase. The pathological cells devise process must be completed. In other words, the organism must be fully mutated. Access to experimental drugs is located at the vet station. So he does exist. What's up there? That's weird. Why would you keep that in your locker? I wouldn't know. Got an axe here, too. This is my locker? No, there's just over walls with a... Box hat? Why? Oh, here's the supply thing. Okay, found it. Where's the supplies coming from? Oh! Oh! Uh, why is it human? Hello? Damn. I, I mean... Night Zookeeper, Paul Connolly. Don't worry, Paul. It's me again. How's it going? Do you need any explanations? Oh, I definitely do. I thought you had beef or, I don't know, lamb in the fridge. And there... And there's a long-necked pig. 
You see, Paul, dozens of parasites spread from the mother every day. They infiltrate our animals and they turn into, how shall I put it? Well, monsters. And they have specific tastes. They need meat. What the? What the hell is the mother? <laughs> Relax. The mother is securely locked away. Not much is known about her, so they study her. Forget about it. You know your tasks. Don't worry about the rest. Fuck! I gave a piece of meat to my wife. You did what? <laughs> Sorry, Paul, but it's really ridiculous. Life gives you a chance to become a worthy, well-off person, and you take the easy way. Descending to simple theft. There won't be any more indulgence. So if they say grind bodies, you grind. They'll say kill, you kill. Got it? Got it. Just tell me where my phone is. I'll call Lily. Maybe she and Gina haven't eaten yet. I won't allow it, chum. If you call your wife, it'll be a direct violation of the NDA. No, Paul, you won't drag me into this. You'll have to fully feel the consequences of your misdeed. And now stop whining and go to work. Well, they're cannibals for one day and one day only. I assume they might just hate the me in, ge in general. Oh, oh, why do you have to be awake? Why do you have to wait awake? Uh, I see why now the meat doesn't have its own like place to put it you know well it has its own place to put it but like not a vent to go down in you get me all right Time to go to the gorilla habitat. All right, we're at the gorilla station, baby. This should be fun. Let's make a the simple food. For, actually, they gave me the recipes for like their stuff. I think I'm gonna take my temperature gun and the other sensor gun. I think I'm gonna go in with the sensors first. First things first, we're gonna do the sensors. Oh my goodness, you're scaring me, Pepper. Thor. Hello, Thor. Chief. Okay, Chief, stop running from me, Chief. Chief, Chief. Is there another one nearby? Up here, maybe? Oh, hi, Dexter. Okay. I'm gonna take your temperatures, guys. Stop getting in the way. I'm trying to get his temperature. Okay, I think everyone's good with these two i'm gonna be back all right i'm gonna bring my blood gun and some food i will say it's a lot faster it's a lot faster when you don't bring the cart with you there's your food guys i need your poop next all right agreed agreed everyone you eat your food then you poop there we go there we go straight from the source steaming you're gonna poop chief poop chief Poop. Oh, thank you, Chief. I got my last bit of poop now from Chief. Thank you, Chief. All right, now I can get the hell out of here. What the hell was that? Oh! Go back to hub. Go back to hub. Go back to hub. Go back to hub. What the hell was that thing? What? I saw three health bars and I only had two bullets. I wasn't going to be able to do something there. I'm expecting a phone call, aren't I? Maybe one more shrink dart before we go. Maybe one more shrink dart. You think you think the shrink dart's going to do so much? I don't think. You know, let's let's go see how much the shrink darts are going to do, huh? I think I think we could do it. Rescue the animals. I have to rescue them. Okay, I'm back. I have to rescue the animals. From who? From who? From the man that doesn't want to be tranked? Oh no. Um. Hi guys. W where Where's the man at? Oh no. 
Oh no. Do I need like lethal injections? What's going on? Pepper died. I think I need more than just trank darts. Damn gorilla, you killed Piper. I'm coming for you. Is that you up there? Damn, this guy's moving around. You didn't like that, did you? You, sh you better have thought twice about killing Pepper. There you go. Down, boy, down. Yeah, I know you don't like me. Pepper. <laughs> Pepper. <laughs> no. Whatever the hell that thing is. Whatever you are, I'm taking you. That sounded very violent. That sounds very violent. What the hell did I capture? Am I going to be able to see it be sucked up? Oh. Well, thank you. I'm becoming slowly infected. This guy said he was... He infected me with the damn disease. That That's great. That's great to know. <laughs> okay, I I think it's good to go back now. Oh, we deliver some fresh meat. Head to the hub and deal with it. Okay. Essential partial vials, the substance, I th think. You'll find the use for them. You'll find them in the partial box. Okay, cool. We're going back to the hub. Oh my goodness. What the hell happened there? Pepper's dead now. We lost two gorillas. We lost Peppa. We lost Peppa. The bio waste filter is clogged. Wait, what? Clean the bio waste filter. How do you clean the bio waste filter? Ugh. Task complete. Whose tattoo is that? The severed hand added. Oh, can I like use it for these? How did that work? How did that work? What's in here? You know, we exploring. Who's that? Oh, that's Mr. Kentucky Fried Chicken. Dr. Oliver Metzger. What a surprise. Doc really turned out to be a doctor. Of course he did. You had any doubts? I wouldn't answer it in here. I would answer it up here. Maybe I should never answer that phone call. They don't have security cameras in here, do they? No? Oh. That's a dense th agreement. Okay. Let's get that phone call now. It's because it's annoying. I know it's you. Son of a bitch. Hey, hey take it easy, Paul Connolly. <laughs> What's going on? Like you don't know, you bastard. You think just because I'm poor, I'm an idiot? You infected me with some crap and expect me to die like the animals in your fucking zoo? <laughs> Shut up! You think I wouldn't figure it out, Dr. Oliver Metzger? You said there was no lab here. So why the hell am I standing in one talking to you now? Oh, Paul, here you go again. Your ass shouldn't be where you are right now. This is a restricted area, not related to the zoo or your duties. And, yes, I did inject you with a parasite, but not to harm you, rather to protect you. Without it, your job would be much <laughs> harder. <laughs> if you use your head and get through the first night properly, I'll come back in the morning and remove it. You'll get your money after the first shift, and no one will get hurt. Just finish what you started. It's almost over, Paul. <laughs> Wild, bro. Asshole. You think I'll believe a word you say after this? You'll have to, Paul. <laughs> You're locked in, and I'm the only one who can open the door. Plus, I've got an NDA signed by your own hand right in front of me. You think an NDA is gonna stop me? I think the freaking government would allow me to do this. 
to expose your ass in the public view unless you're hired by the government itself all right to the penguins to the penguins wrong thing all right we're gonna take that we're gonna take the sound thing and we're gonna make our way in you got so many damn penguins why you got so many damn penguins they better not be all sick bro hi guys how you doing someone throw up or did someone shit themselves that seems nasty why does it seem nasty Y'all gonna go get some food? Okay, I'll be back then. You guys get your food. You eat. I'll come back. I'll pick up your poop. You know. Yeah, I think that's how I should do it. Put the food bucket back. And let us take... The poop sucker. Come in. I'm here to suck some poop. That's how you shit? That's pure liquid, bro. That's lime. Whoa. Okay. I don't understand why we have to do this, but I guess duty calls, am I right? This time I'm ready. This time I'm ready. Gotcha, baby. I, I don't got you. Where'd he go? Gotcha, baby. Come on, one more hit. Gotcha. Gotcha. Sit down. Who hasn't pooped yet, by the way? You? Well, that's alright. At least everyone's all right. At least everyone. I saved everyone this time. You know, one of these times, I'm going to have the lethal injection in and I'm going to forget. And now that I said it, I'm not going to forget. Got your ass. Got your ass. Now I've healed everyone and I'm out. I guess we're back. What exactly do you want me to do here? Are you here? Paul, I brought breakfast. The meat you gave me was incredibly delicious. Gina had three servings. And I promised to take the rest to her beloved daddy. Oh, someone arrived. Hello. Do you work here? Hey, what are you doing? Let me go! Good morning, Paul. How was your night? It's time to feed the mother. Wake up, Paul. Mother likes her food to flutter and squeak. Don't worry about your wife. I think she'll make a great dessert. Really, Paul, you didn't think that after everything you've seen, I'd let you go? Uh-oh, looks like mommy is particularly hungry today. Oh, what the hell? What are those hands? Paul didn't save the journalist. He failed to warn Lily about the origins of the meat. He... I was under an NDA! What do you mean? Alright, everyone. I'm gonna call this part here. Because there is more to this game. I only complete half of it because I didn't really want to speak out and violate an NDA. So, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was under legal agreement, okay? But I do hope you all enjoyed. If you want to see more, please leave a like down below. But be well, farewell, but most importantly, bye. For now, though.